Hitam. We are here guys, we finally made it back to Ochibamba. I'm joined by Daniel, He's, it's his first time here, and my bro, oh, yeah. you guys have also seen him before, it was his first time here. The rest of our hunting still, we came in about 9 o'clock this morning, um, but yeah, it's beautiful, we've set up the bows, we're busy setting up the bows, and uh, we set up the food places and everything, and we're just waiting for the rest to join us back. I'm not quite sure what Paul has got in store for you guys. On the trigger punch bandit side or what he has filmed so far i don't even know if they have something yet because we don't have phone signal here but uh yeah we've finally made it it's been a year we really just rock and roll so please stay tuned we're just going to get everything ready and i think the next time you guys will see us we'll be probably going out to go do an afternoon session i think so yeah stay tuned for that we'll see you guys there Daniel, what do you have? Yes, I'm excited. Yeah, sit down. Hola. How are you? How are you? Mr. Like a boy's morning three, yeah. And uh, my nose is a rag. What's here, buddy? This is gone. It's afgeval. But you had even just stopped in your car. Yeah. So, my boy's morning three. And uh, we all do a couple of bucks. Alright, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Ja, hier ist doch ungelogen.
think I might caught lungs. We saw a lot of blood as it was running. But um, we're going to just wait it out. So sorry guys, it took you so abruptly out of the video. I'm busy editing it now and I realized of the black trail, um, I didn't take a lot of footage guys. So what ended up happening, I'm not going to just put in text for everyone to read. I'll, I'll explain. Um, the Impala string jumped me a bit. I shot a bit high definitely from the start. It did string jump me just to add to my woes. And uh, we waited for about three hours in total after one hour wait. I went to go check blood. Um, initially, it looked like after the shot, a lot of blood came out, but I didn't see any. So I think it might have just been dust. I'm not sure. It looks like blood when you when you see afterwards. But um, yeah, it wasn't looking good. We found a bit of blood about 20 meters after, like it ran over that hill. And then all that stopped. Um, we found a bit of broken twigs where the Impala ran. But up to that point, we didn't know where it was we spent probably a good hour searching for it i was searching like there was no blood no spoor nothing we had the dogs they were just cruising around because they couldn't find they couldn't find the blood trail at all it was not the scent wasn't there anymore um yeah so but my back was against the wall i knew it wasn't looking good the shot didn't look great um yeah it was just not looking good and but then miraculously um I don't know how it ended up happening, but after about an hour of search, I went back to go get grab a bottle of water because um, my area that I was searching for about 300 meters in one way, I wasn't finding anything. Um, and when I got to where my water, I hear, heard Tina's calling and um, yeah, that got my heart racing again. And, and it ended up, he ended up saying he found my arrow he found my arrow because we were searching for my arrow because we hoped that would at least lead us because i knew i saw the arrow flopping out of the animal when i was running away um and then <laughs> lo and behold after running about 600 meters in one direction uh, uh um tina said your arrow is somewhere over here just go get it and uh, as i turned around the corner we didn't take the camera with because we weren't expecting anything we weren't expecting an animal of sorts you know so um <laughs> i was very 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 relieved that he like walked upon the animal so what umtinas eventually ended up doing was he um he the dogs he saw the dogs went in the direction for a little bit initially and so what he what he did was he followed the path of least resistance and walked into a direction upwards to the mountains and then when he got i think i'm assuming downwind of the animal uh the dogs sniffed it and they darted towards the animal. And at that point, it was dead already. Um, it's been dead an hour. Um, but yeah, let me not speak too much. I'm probably, I'm, I'm explaining it in the video as well. But then that's how everything played down. So I hope you guys are enjoying so far. It's just how bow hunting goes. Not everything is perfect. Enjoy the rest of the video. Back to the hunting. Okay, guys. So it's about four hours after you guys saw me shoot this Impala. Um, yeah, to say it's been a tough one is uh, putting it lightly. Um, as you guys can see, I don't know, but you can probably know that. As you guys can see, uh, shot went in very high. Sorry, shot went in very high, deflected, and came out down here below the stomach. So it was quartering towards like this, and it came out down below the stomach. We're assuming it cut a bit of lung. 
maybe liver, I'm not sure, and obviously the stomach. But yeah, we got him. Actually, I didn't get him. We, I was on a totally different route. We were searching, like, we, the blood stopped, and um, we were searching the whole area, and about 600 meters away from the from the hide, um, uh, Umtinas found him. And uh, yeah, he played, played a bit of a prank. We forgot the camera because we didn't know what was happening. He called us from here, we ran to him. And then he said he found my arrow. We just have to go searching for it. It's it, like it's right over there. Then we have to follow it. And uh, he hit the buck there. So <laughs> quite a quite a good quite a good practical joke in a, in a heartfelt moment. But I'm I'm just very relieved, guys. I think in all we walked about four k's now, uh, searching for it. So I'm just relieved that he's now going to be on the bucky. Maybe some bolting in the freezer. So let's get back into the hide and see if we can't get some more.